So, I will recommend us to just take a trick up and see what happens. Take x to be sine theta, dx equals cosine theta d theta. And then we can see that this right here becomes the integral 1 over 1 plus square root of 1 minus sine square theta. And then we have cosine theta d theta. Pretty good. So this right here is actually just cosine theta, but unfortunately this and that does not cancel. So we are looking at the integral cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta d theta. And you might be like, no, do we really have to do the virus drop substitution again? No. What we can do is just do the conjugate if you would like, and I think that's pretty fair. Mm, what else can we possibly do? First drop substitution, definitely give it a try. And yeah, I will hold to the conjugate and see how it goes. Yeah. So I will look at this and multiply by 1 minus cosine theta and then 1 minus cosine theta and then we have the d theta here so on the bottom becomes 1 on the bottom it becomes 1 minus cosine square which is just sine square theta yeah on the bottom is sine square theta and I'm, I'm just going to write yes integral cosine theta on the top over sine square theta I will close that next cosine times cosine is cosine square over again the same denominator which is sine square theta so that's what I have for this right here we can do a u sub but let's do our u sub in your head u equal to uh, sine theta so in this case we get negative 1 over u which is sine theta and then guess what we are done for this right here how do we do it you can do a quick identity this is 1 minus sine square theta 1 minus 1 over 1 over sine square is cosecant square and the integral of cosecant square is cotangent but it's negative so this right here will be a positive cotangent I mean cotangent x yeah and then this over that is just 1 negative negative is positive so we just have sorry 1 over sine square theta is cosecant square theta and the integral of cosecant square theta is negative cotangent theta so negative negative being positive cotangent theta negative negative is positive this and that is just 1 integrating 1 in the theta world is theta so that's what we have and uh, <laughs> let's see just put everything back negative 1 over sine theta is x what's cotangent theta though let's draw a triangle real quick sine theta equals x over 1 which we know a triangle x over 1 hypotenuse is right here and this is adjacent is square root of hypotenuse square minus the other side square So cotangent is this over that. So we have a plus square root of 1 minus x squared over x. And lastly, theta is just the inverse sine. So this right here, plus inverse sine of x. And then we are done.